Welcome to Performance TV. We've got a great show for you this week. Now we know, thanks to modern fuel injection, there's a lot of power to unlock. And we've learned it in LS and Coyote power plants, tunes in these high performance muscle cars. Well, the same is true for UTVs. And Ryan is in the house from rvsperformance.com. That's what you guys specialize in. How does it work? Well, it's the same thing as cars, technically. We uh, got an ECU with programmed with throttle controls, torque limiters, fuel, timing curves, all the same type of stuff as automotive technology at this point now. Um, and EPA has locked down on these vehicles and started putting in emissions compliance and cat converters and things like that in them. And the manufacturers are trying everything they can to get as much power out of them as possible. They've done the same thing as cars. There's fly-by-wire throttles, very high-tech fuel injection programming systems, uh, O2 sensors, the whole mess. So companies like Dynajet, what they've done is they've come out with these little handheld programmers very similar to the stuff you see in the diesel trucks and the car market. So these units will allow you to plug into the unit uh, through your diagnostic port. You can reflash your ECU with custom programming that we supply and unlock the potential of your machine. So you can get more horsepower, more torque, better throttle response, overall drivability, cooler engine temperatures, just a much more fun and responsive vehicle. When you're out there on the trails, you want to have a good time, and everybody has got a unique circumstance. Yep. Maybe you're going up and down hills. There's a lot of power in these engines that is untapped because they want to keep them within a tolerance. You untap that power and have a lot of experience doing it. How Correct. so? Uh, we were actually one of the first companies on the market to figure out how to read and write these Polaris ECUs. Originally, we, we were doing them by physically removing them from the machine and cracking them open and making connections on the circuit board and rewriting them through a computer program on the bench. And we'd have customers from all over the country and eventually all over the world as we developed our capability that would mail us their ECUs. We would reprogram them and mail them back. Uh, units like this now have made that need pretty much obsolete because we can now mail them this unit preloaded with our custom programming in it and they can plug it into their diagnostic port and in a matter of minutes they can reflash their ECU with a custom tune from us. Now how do you work out your custom tunes? So we've got a Dynajet 250iX dyno in our house, uh, wheeled chassis dyno, uh, works for ATV side-by-sides, motorcycles. We specialize in mostly, mostly Polaris, Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs as well as Indian motorcycles. So we take them in, we strap them down, we use our years of experience to test and tune and make adjustments and maximize the power delivery and the reliability and the performance of your machine. But just like with a muscle car, if we're going to upgrade our power we might have to upgrade some components so Absolutely. how do you guys handle that so the big thing on these machines is CVT clutching they're belt driven machines they're driven by a centrifugal force clutch system uh, those are calibrated with weights and springs and helixes and different components to make them run the machine at the proper RPM and at full throttle so um, like I showed you before when you go from that 100% request to 60% from 100 to 100 you make a bunch more power that additional power makes the engine run at a higher RPM with the current clutch calibration. So we use stuff like these adjustable weights where you can add and subtract magnets, different uh, springs, different rates on those to control the RPM and the shift rate of those clutches to get the power delivered as efficiently as possible to the wheels and maximize the gain that you're getting from their tuning. Get that power to the ground. Now what if I roll out with a squad of guys? We go out on the weekends and I've got the tune. Is there a way that they can benefit as well? Absolutely. These units can be multi-licensed so your friends can come to us and with the purchase of an additional tuning license and a tune file from us they can load their machines onto your tuner and they can plug in and reflash their machines as well. These units will hold dozens of licenses at a time. They'll hold hundreds of tune files at a time. So you can swap between machine to machine anytime you want. Uh, many times people prefer to get their own unit, um, not only because sometimes it's convenient just to have your own, but these units will do diagnostics and clear check engine codes. So if you have a breakdown or an issue out in the field, sometimes you can clear that code, get yourself back to camp safely. They offer 16 channels of data logging and data monitoring. and that that's all data that this thing will record as well. So if you get a tune from us and you have any kind of a run condition issue or any type of question on the run quality, you can do a data log and then you can email that log to us and we can open that up in Dynajet's tuning software and we can monitor all that data and recording and we can look at that and we can make changes to your tune and send that back to you via email. And there are multiple tune profiles in case I want to go mountain climbing one day and go flat out another day at stores there uh, multiple. Is, yep, there is options like that. We have multiple stages of tunes as well. You know, a stock machine with stock intake, stock exhaust requires different fueling and different changes than a machine that has aftermarket cams and maybe a full dual exhaust on an Indian and, so, and a big bore kit and things like that. So. Well, very interesting. If that is you and you're looking to unlock some power, hit them up at their website. They've got a lot going on. 